up everyone? Krupa and I have finally got around to overhauling our bedroom to something that's more around our style. Our current bedroom that you can see here was always okay, but it had a lot of furniture from before we even met, a queen size bed without a backboard, and cold gray walls that are no longer considered in by the cool kids of interior design magazines. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the entire process from start to finish of what we did, including custom Ikea nightstands, some new smart blackout shades, and a lot more. So let's quit this little chit chat we got going on here and let's get started. Started. One of the first things that I wanted to upgrade out the gate was our two big shades above our bed. The ones that came with this house have always been a pain to open and close all the time. So we made the decision to switch those out to some new linen beige motorized blackout shades from a company called Ulex. One of the reasons I chose this was because they didn't require any electrical work as they are battery operated, but I also added solar panel options to avoid having to recharge them every four to five months. If you've never installed shades like these on your own, it's super simple. You just need to measure the width and height of your window to order them correctly. Then when you have the shades, you just install the hooks at the top of the window and finally attach the shades themselves. Again, you can also add solar panels as well where you attach them to the window direct and then plug them into the motor via USB cable. But you might also want to get some clips to keep the cables from dangling. These are integrated with Alexa, which means I am able to set vocal commands to have them open and close, as well as my personal favorite, set them onto automated schedules. So for example, having them open in the morning when our alarms go off and close at sunset. Also with our bedroom being located upstairs, it's super nice to have blackout shades during the day when we're not in the room to block the summer sun from turning our room into a furnace. So the majority of our budget for this makeover went towards our new bed and dresser, so we decided to do some custom nightstands using IKEA's unfinished rest drawers. So you can do this one of two ways. You can sand and stain each piece and then assemble the product, or you can assemble the product and then stain it where you deem fit. The second method will save you some stain, but the first method will ensure you get full coverage. To get started, I sanded the pieces one by one using 220 grit sandpaper. Once done and all the dust was cleaned off, it's now time to stain. Or even before that, you can use a pre-stain treatment to help prevent streaks and blotches when staining. The stain that I chose was a satin Kona poly plus stain all in one. Why did I choose this? Well, because I like the look of Kona and I also found it in Home Depot's clearance section. So yeah, cheap. So I applied the stain and then I wiped it off one piece at a time, but not gonna lie, I was tad impatient with the first coat and had a few blotches from placing it on the mat. Luckily, I was already gonna sand it and apply a second layer of stain. While we wait for these to dry, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Botanium. I've gotten way more into plants since moving into our new home and this may be one of my favorite new finds. Botanium is a self-watering hydroponic planter, which put simply, it's an indoor planter that doesn't use soil and works by watering the plant every three hours. This was super easy to set up. I just had to add water, a few drops of the nutrients that was included and planted the seeds into their growing medium, which is made of a porous stone to retain the moisture without draining the roots. So for all of you that have sent countless plants to the grape, not naming any names, this is exactly Exactly what you need to try out. It works with most plants, but most people usually grow chili peppers, basil, or tomatoes with it. I'm personally trying out growing cucumbers for the first time with solid success in the time that I've had it. So thanks again to Botanium for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out down below to learn a little more about what they offer. With that said, I think the IKEA drawers are finally ready for the next steps. Now that the pieces are dry, the next thing to do is to assemble the nightstands together before customizing these even further with cane webbing and drawer handles.
With it all assembled now, let's get started with creating the faceplate borders using pine trim I got from Home Depot. This part is all about getting the measurements correct and cutting the ends at a 45 degree angle to avoid having exposed end grain. This next step may depend on how you want to do this and what equipment you have available. I wanted the cane webbing to be under the borders without the wood tilting up over it as it would definitely be noticeable due to the thickness of the cane material. So what I did was I used a table saw to cut a groove out of the edge of the wood. The height of the cut and how far you take it in just depends on where you plan to staple the material to the drawers. I ended up doing a little trial and error with this and eventually made it about a half inch groove. Next up, I got the cane webbing material from Amazon. It's not easy to work with out of the package, so all you need to do is soak it for a few minutes so that it doesn't keep curling as much. While that is happening, I wanted an easy way to cut each piece, so I grabbed some leftover cardboard and cut out a template so that each piece will be the exact same. I almost forgot I also still needed to sand down the trim pieces and apply stain before installation so that I don't get stain on the cane webbing. While those dry, I moved on to cutting the cane pieces and then trimming off the excess. To apply it to the drawers, what I did to make it easy was I used several clamps to get it to stay exactly where I needed it to be, and then I stapled it down. I then used the clamps to assemble the trim onto the drawers to ensure it all fit well together. Once I knew each piece was good, I'd remove one piece at a time, add wood glue, reapply it, and then brad nail it back on. To fill in the nail holes and any gap areas, I simply just used stainable wood filler, sanded it down where needed, and then reapplied some stain to ensure it had more consistent finish. After finishing up the trim, I had one last piece to add, which is the black handle for each drawer to make it easier to open and then give it a more finished look.
All that was left over after this was that I just needed to put it all back together. If you are enjoying today's content, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. I'll also leave links down in the description for everything you see here today. Just let me know if I missed anything. A bedroom makeover isn't complete without a fresh coat of paint. So let's get everything out of the room and get this bed listed on Marketplace. Being six foot three, I have been waiting so long to upgrade to a king size bed. So getting rid of this one was the easiest thing I've ever done. Except for the fact that I carry the mattress down by myself because Krupa was on the phone with her cousin Kevin the entire time. Yeah, I haven't forgotten him. For the main wall, the color we chose was Bear's Matte Jungle Camouflage. I wanted to test out Bear's Marquee option, which is their guaranteed one coat, so hopefully it works out. I finally decided to get an actual nice brush based on the tips and tricks pro painters post online. Also, I finally got one of these cups to help with holding the paint. I wasn't planning on talking about this, but it was actually clutch, especially because the walls here are 14 feet tall and I need it to be as safe as possible on the ladder. Outside of it having a handle, what's really nice is it has a magnet that holds the brush up when you put the brush back down. For the roller, I followed some pro tips again by using tape to get the fuzzy pieces off before applying the paint. Since this was a brand new can of paint, I didn't use a strainer, but some of you may still argue that you should still strain it no matter what. That said, any pro painters watching, definitely feel free to leave your own tips and tricks down in the comments. I've always been a big fan of the forums on Reddit and love it when you're able to get a similar interaction on videos like this down in the comments. For the main wall, I would actually say the one coat guarantee was pretty accurate. I had a few areas to touch up, but other than that, I was really happy. Another pro tip here is that you wanna remove the tape soon after you're done coating your wall. It definitely gives you cleaner lines and less chance of paint tears. For the other walls, we went with Bear's Lively White. I don't know all the restrictions to Bear's one coat guarantee, but I will say for this specific color, it definitely needed more than one coat. But honestly, I do prefer knowing that two coats were applied so that any human error gets fixed. Now that the walls are done, it's time to put it all together. We got this rug a few months back from Costco when they were on sale. And as mentioned earlier, we did splurge on our bed and dresser. This bed frame is from Pottery Barn, so I wouldn't say it's the cheapest option, but we absolutely loved it. It's super nice quality, the headboard is extremely comfortable, and the frame is super sturdy. For our sheets, we went with Brooklinen because we wanted a higher quality option without it being super overly priced like some of the other options we saw. I'll leave links to most of the other items you see here, but basically we got most of these from various places such as Target, Home Goods, and online options. I did a video not too long ago covering the desk area, which is why I didn't really cover that today. So if you're interested, be sure to check that one out after this. With everything now in place, let's check out the before and after.